Hello again, everyone. Mark Hack, Macomb County Executive. And right now we got Candace Miller, the Director of Public Works here in Macomb County. Uh, we got a great program going on with our health department, and it's uh, one that uh, usually is highly sought after. The public really is uh, hopeful that we put this on. We know we had the issue with COVID, but again, uh, an opportunity for them to bring some of their household uh, hazardous waste items uh, to the county. And it's uh, the location. If you need information, macombgov.org, click on the icon. It'll tell you exactly where. It's by the health department, which is in Mount Clemens. And uh, the date of this is going to be July 23rd. 7.30 in the morning till noon. But we are gonna have a ton of people wanting to come to this. There's gonna be some long lines. We know that we're just uh, asking for a little bit of tolerance and patience, but we definitely wanna get these household items out of your home. And uh, obviously over here to us, cause we will take care of getting rid of them. We don't want them in the drains. Uh, again, only rain in the drain. We're trying to figure out how do we get these items here? Because when it comes to drains here in Macomb County, we are adamant. Let's keep our tributaries, our Clinton River, our Lake St. Clair clean. Uh, it is our drinking water and Candace Miller is one of those people at the forefront of this and really has been working with our health department to promote this as well as promote our clean water here in Macomb County. Thanks Mark and I do think it's really uh, critical and important that the public does understand because there's been about a year uh, vacuum here because the health department of course has had their hands totally full with COVID but now this program is starting back up and I know people have accumulated some of these different items that you see here today because we've gotten a lot of calls on it so hats off to uh, Executive uh, Hackle and certainly the Macomb County Health Department for the great job they did in this past year with the COVID. And now they're, they're back to work with this hazardous material. And we have had uh, some of these things that have appeared in our drain, which I'm sure if you're watching this, you're shocked. We're shocked as well. I mean, who pours 50 gallons of antifreeze into an open drain, right? Somebody that needs to be prosecuted. And uh, we intend to do that in that particular case. But we've had some of these different contaminants that we found in our drain. Sometimes it's an accident but it's not always an accident. So we all need to be very vigilant. And uh, we have a 24 hour uh, hotline as well that you can uh, call us, we will respond. We have a zero tolerance for any kind of contamination, uh, contaminants that are in our drains. We have 475 drains uh, throughout Macomb County. Some of them are enclosed drains where you see you know, your storm sewers or the grates that are in your subdivisions. Uh, all of that just doesn't go away somewhere. It goes down into, uh, probably a direct outfall into the lake or some of our big uh, open drains that you see in the more rural areas of the county. We're all in the same watershed. It finds its way into the Clinton River and then ultimately out into Lake St. Clair. So it's not only the contaminants that obviously negatively impact any of our critter friends or the fish or what have you that are in these drains uh, or the residents, the people that live along the drains. But as Mark has said, it is our drinking water supply our freshwater drinking water supply. So it's really up for all of us to uh, be great stewards of our environment. And it's all hands on deck and uh, working together. We're gonna make sure that uh, all of these uh, hazardous materials are collected and uh, that they don't find their way uh, where they shouldn't be, that's for sure. So yes, again, Macomb is our home. It's your home too. We wanna to keep our neighborhoods clean and uh, specifically our waterways and our tributaries. This is a great opportunity for you to get some of those household items out of your home, out of your garage, help a neighbor out, help a loved one. Maybe you have a, a parents that are trying to figure it out. Go talk to your neighbors and say, hey, I'm heading over to get rid of some of these household hazardous waste items. Uh, I got a location. Can I take some of yours off your hands as well? Again, most people are trying to find a way. They want to be part of the solution. We find that with most people, they want to be part of the solution. They want to be a partner with us, uh, but sometimes they just don't know how to get it off their hands. We're providing an opportunity. Again, as I mentioned, probably one of our number one programs we have at the health department is offering us July 23rd, 730 morning till noon. Please be very patient and somewhat tolerant of us. Uh, these lines are going to be as long as they were for the COVID testing and even for the vaccinations. We know there's gonna be a lot of people coming out. We wanna help take this off your hands. Let's help keep Macomb County clean, specifically our waters and our tributaries. You got uh, two advocates here that are very much uh, at the forefront of this and we wanna we want to highly encourage you to do that. So go to macombgov.org, click on that icon for more information and please help be part of the solution here in Macomb County. Thank you.